Do you have hornets and wasps that you want to get rid of? Well, I might have the solution, a homemade wasp and hornet trap that doesn't attract honeybees. So we're going to make one today. So let's get going. My name is Jonathan and I'm a caregiver for my wife, Lynn, who has a permanent brain injury. Things are different now, but we're doing the best that we can. Join us as we experience the Lynn life. Well, I have all the parts in front of me that we're going to need to make this wasp and hornet trap. Uh, the thing that uh, I really wanted to find was a way to be able to create a trap that didn't attract honeybees because they're, uh, you know, excellent um, pollinators, whereas a wasp or hornet is not. So I don't care about getting rid of those things, but I want to keep the honeybees and butterflies and things like that. Uh, keep them safe. So the concoction that we're going to make that's going to go inside this two liter bottle um, honeybees are not interested in. So uh, the first thing that I got and I actually had to order this were these things called fatal funnels. And I'll show them to you. I have six of them. They look like this. They are um, I'm going to cut a couple slits and I'm actually going to put them on the side of this two liter bottle. So, and so that uh, I guess the hornets are attracted to what's inside and once they get in they can't get out. Um, I'm not sure if you just put a, uh, a hole in this and maybe put some tape around it if it wouldn't have done the same thing. Maybe we'll try that in another video. But these were not, you know, they weren't expensive. I got them through Amazon, came in a couple days, and it makes it a little bit easier for me. So we're gonna try these and put them in. And uh, then we're gonna make a concoction, uh, which uh, consists of about three different things that uh, the yellow jack is just go crazy for. So let's get started with uh, putting this uh, fatal funnel in the uh, on the uh, two liter bottle first. So first I'm going to cut about a if I can get this in here a two inch incision here that this is going to be able to go into. Let me make it a little bit longer. I've never done this before. This is all new. So we're we're doing this together. Let's see if I can get this in there. I might have to cut another little incision this way. All right, so I, I cut some cross, uh, two inch cross here and put both of these in, but I didn't like the way they were, you know, it almost felt like they were gonna pop out. There are probably other ways of doing it. So I added a little duct tape. So I had some, it's white, <laughs> white duct tape to uh, just to hold it in place uh, to my satisfaction. Okay, now we're gonna make the, uh, what they call the attractant. Uh, the, the concoction that actually attracts the wasps and the hornets. And the first ingredient is this, it's apple juice. Now I know that wasps and hornets love apples. I've experienced that during uh, apple season in the fall when I go to vineyards and there's always tons of yellow jackets there. They absolutely love this. Then there's approximately a, one, a quarter cup of sugar. I'm gonna put that in there. Okay and we'll mix that up. Then the other ingredient, which is an important one, is this. It's meat. They love meat and this is salmon. I saved a little bit of salmon from our dinner tonight and we're going to put that in the concoction and we're also going to use it can you see this right here? There's a little thing that sticks out and we're going to stick a little piece of salmon right on the outside and this is irresistible to these hornets. We're also going to cut a few little vent holes out on the, you know, right along the top and so that they can smell it. 
All right, now I'm going to take my concoction here and I'm going to slowly pour it into the bottle. I hope this works. Now it's definitely attracting the flies already. Justin should, Justin's with me. He should be, uh, he should have the bug, bug of salt out here. Have all of you watched the bug of salt review? Because uh, you should. That thing is awesome. I love that gun. I, I just killed a fly inside in the kitchen a little while ago. Uh, we use it inside and outside, and there's a fly right here. Okay, so that's about how far it gets filled up, and we got the openings right here. Next, I'm going to drop some of this, um, some of the salmon, and it should float right there on top. And then I'm going to stick just a couple uh, pieces. There's like a little, well, it's like a little thing sticking out like a little pointy thing sticks out right here and I'm gonna stick a little salmon on that and then we're gonna set it up and then we're gonna come back several days later and uh, see what we've, what we've collected we uh, we're eating salmon and stuff like that for dinner now because I am I'm watching what I'm eating I'm trying to eat heart healthy stuff and uh, apparently Hornets like heart healthy stuff too. <laughs> now this is one of the reasons why a honeybee won't uh, won't be interested in this because they are vegetarians, whereas a a wasp or hornet are carnivores. Hornets like yellow jackets like to nest in the ground. And uh, so look at that, I got a bunch of this stuff floating around in there. Yeah, a little bit here, I'll put, I'll stick in one of the things. The, um, I have a story to tell you. When I was a kid, approximately 12 years old, I was, it must have been late in the summer, and there were a couple old uh, apple trees by a friend's house, and I was picking up apples and hitting them with a, with a baseball bat. And as I mentioned, those yellow jackets like to nest in the ground, and they nested in the ground right by the apples. And I stepped on the nest, not knowing it, but I knew I was—I I knew I was getting stung. That's for sure. They started going around my ankles and coming up my body, and I started running. And I started running around the house, and nobody could stop me. I was going so fast. I was trying to get away from them. They were up. They were stinging me all over my body, and they. Uh, uh, created like uh, a human barrier. There were several adults there and they, they, they blocked this one area so I couldn't keep going around the house and they directed me into the house. And I ran into the house and those yellow jackets followed me right in. And I remember running into the bathroom and they were stuck all over me. They were in my collar, they were in my hair, they were everywhere. And um, we eventually got them off of me and they brought me to the emergency room because even though I wasn't allergic but I was stung so many times that uh, they figured I would need medical attention they did they gave me some injections probably and uh, I remember one eye was a swollen and uh, my whole body was just burning it was an awful experience so I guess this is how I get eaten. All right, I thought we had already gotten a bug or two, and then Justin informed me that it's a piece of parsley, a couple pieces of parsley, because that's what I had on the salmon we had for dinner. So apparently I got a little parsley in there. But uh, there are bugs flying us all around us over there, so they are attracted to the sugary stuff. So I'm gonna set it here on top of a uh, an old garbage pail and uh, see how it works and we'll come back later in the week and see if we got anything. All right, so it's been literally over a week and I've ended up actually hanging it uh, from uh, just below the roof line on the shed 
figuring that seems to be where I seem to find most activity of bugs and wasps. A lot of wasps like to make their nests along here and I kind of stay on that. There are no active nests right around this right now. Uh, if there were, I probably this thing would probably be filled. But there is a lot of wasps, uh, some flies, maybe a hornet or two in there. So it does attract them. Um, if there were a nest, an active nest, that would be filled. I'm sure of it. So it does seem to work. It does, definitely seems to work. There's probably there's a lot of other options, a lot of other things to do. Um, but uh, it, I think it's worth, uh, if, if you're having problems with wasps or hornets, to uh, look into it and try to make your own DIY uh, trap because it does work. So that's going to do it. And we'll see you next time on The Lin Life.